Hey there, and welcome back. If you're a fan like me, you'll agree that The Wayans Brothers 1995 stands among the greatest TV series ever. So, how about joining me today? Grab a chair, settle by the campfire, and let's relive this fantastic show together. We'll journey through the entire cast, past and present, reminiscing about those who've left us and celebrating those who still shine. Ready? Let's dive in and rekindle some incredible memories. Sean Waynes played the character Sean Williams in the TV series when he was 24 years old in 1995. Here he is, at a cool 53, chilling in New York City, New York, enjoying a happy life with family and friends by his side. Mr. Gibbs was one of the meanest, cold-blooded, evil being in our family is um, <laughs> Christmas time when it's time to buy all the gifts for everybody. Oh, yeah. That's, yeah. like, exhausting. And for years, it was really, really... Marlon Wayans played the character Marlon Williams in the TV series when he was 23 years old in 1995. Here he is at a cool 52, chilling in New York City, New York, enjoying a happy life with family and friends by his side. What are you trying to do? Give me brain damage? Too late. I've been doing that since you was five years old. Well, it ain't funny. You think you funny? You yeah, ain't, you ain't funny. funny. That's when they think they know you. You got something else that they go, oh, I, I didn't know you could do that. You know, it was a movie that, you know, wound up getting a lot of critical acclaim. They're like, oh, Marlon can act. John Witherspoon played the character John Pops Williams. He was 53 years old when the TV series ran in 1995. It's with a heavy heart that I've got to tell you that on October 29th, 2019, he left us after a heart attack at 77 in Sherman Oaks, California. We're really filling the loss. Lisa, let me explain something about the fragile male ego. You see, Sean is not as successful as Dr. Saunders and myself. He's a little man in a little doo-doo brown suit. Well, she liked people who do voices. Hmm. So I went back and worked on my voices again. I hadn't done it in a while. So are these voices connected to, like, a particular character that you yeah, made you do not, They try. Anna Maria Horsford played the character Deidre D. Baxter in the TV series when she was 47 years old in 1995. Fast forward to today. She's a lively 76-year-old, soaking up the best of life right here in New York City, New York. All handsome millionaires running around with those nylon shorts, sweating and bumping it. Ooh, I'm getting dizzy just thinking about it. Right now, I'm at a point where you have to pass some of the information on. And not just about acting, but life skills. Because there is a method to... Phil Lewis played the character T.C. He was 27 years old when the TV series ran in 1995. Fast forward to today, he's a lively 56-year-old soaking up the best of life right here in Uganda. Or is an adult show because they're now adults, but we're still kind of doing themes that relate to kids. So. It was great that the writers were able to encompass all of that in the first couple. Leela Rachon played the character Lisa. She was 31 years old when the TV series ran in 1995. Fast forward to today, she's a lively 60-year-old soaking up the best of life right here in Los Angeles, California. A toast. Here's to the incredible time we're going to have on this cruise. I'm just sorry we had to go 20 miles offshore to get away from her. I felt it was my job to make up for all the sacrifices you had to make because of who your father was. But in trying to protect you and overcompensate... Paula Jai Parker played the character Monique. She was 26 years old when the TV series ran in 1995. Check it out. At 55 years old, she's rocking a fulfilling life jam-packed with passions right here in Cleveland, Ohio. Perhaps I could interest you in some uh, hot chocolate. That might just be what I need to quench my thirst. I'm a grown-ass woman. If you want me to come somewhere, what the fuck am I coming there for at 4 o'clock in the fucking morning? Jeanette the boy played the character Grandma Ellington. 
She was 63 years old when the TV series ran in 1995. Sadly, on February 17, 2020, she left us due to a cardiac arrest at the age of 88 in Glendale, California. Her passing deeply saddens us. Boots tonight, honey. I'm gonna make you scream. I'm gonna make you holler. I'm gonna make you big like Pete Sweat. Come on. Oh, no. Everybody's involved with it now. Not just blacks. It's everybody. You know what I'm saying? And we, we feel that you can't, you can, we can lose a lot. Jermaine Hopkins played the character Dupree. He was 22 years old when the TV series ran in 1995. Here he is at a cool 51, chilling in Newark, New Jersey, enjoying a happy life with family and friends by his side. My brother, I am, I'm looking for him and I'm going to check the dessert table next. <laughs> problem with that? Matter of fact, there you go, right there. Yes. I said, I don't know how this motherfucker gonna come. So I need to be on my P's and Q's and shit. I ain't gonna blow it down, but you know what I mean? <laughs> right. Yeah, man. Um... Jill Tasker played the character Lou in the TV series when she was 28 years old in 1995. Fast forward to today, she's a lively 57 year old soaking up the best of life right here in Boston, Massachusetts. Firm, speaks three languages and is an Olympic gold medalist. Anything else? There's talk of a Ferrari, but nothing's confirmed. <laughs> I was excited. And what have you learned about Marie? Um, well, I, I've read some um, biographical... Mitch Mullaney played the character White Mike. He was 27 years old when the TV series ran in 1995. It's with a heavy heart that I've got to tell you that on May 25, 2008, he left us after diabetic-related stroke at 40 in Los Angeles, California. We're really filling the loss. Uh, White Mike, what do you want? Uh, check it, G. The power keeps going out of my apartment, and me and my brother Pookie can't work on our demo tape. Yo, Pookie! No, not Pookie! All right, let's chat. Who is your absolute favorite character from the Wayans Brothers? Jump into the comments and spill the beans below this video. And like always, show some love. Hit that like button, subscribe for more, and ding that notification bell to never miss my new stuff. I can't wait to cook up more fantastic memories with you. Thanks a bunch, and stay tuned for more. See you all soon.